Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to show you one very interesting concept related to thresholding. Okay, so for this particular purpose I have taken one image which has this kind of shade. Okay, you can clearly understand here this is dark part and this is our actual object. Okay, but this is clearly shaded part. Okay. Now suppose we want to use global thresholding method and we want to extract the binary object. So first of all I am plotting the histogram of the original image. So let me just show you the histogram of this. Okay and we will be getting histogram like this. You can clearly understand that here global thresholding will fail because global thresholding applicable for bimodal histogram that is if there are huge pixel concentration in the dark region and similarly huge pixel concentration in the bright region and in between two region there is valley part then our global thresholding works good but this kind of histogram where more concentration in a single region it will not work in a proper fashion okay and similarly we can see here if we just perform im to bw x comma gray threshold uh, x that is we are calculating the threshold value and if i just perform im so i will be getting this kind of thresholded image which is clearly uh, distorted format and not at all thresholding is detected properly so our global thresholding is perfectly fail in this case so what we will do the simple idea is apply local thresholding and in local thresholding what we basically do in local thresholding this is our original image we just divide the image into small small parts and in those small parts we apply our global thresholding technique okay that is after dividing into small small part in those small small parts we will apply our th previously used thresholding technique right and as a result we will we should get some better result we can clearly understand right so here what i have done here i have first calculated the size i have created one similar uh, empty uh, the zero element matrix of same size and then I have divided my columns that is C is the number of columns into 10 size okay taking floor so that I will get only integer okay and then I will create one range so 1 to C column I am dividing into 10 parts and similarly uh, this is our starting of our region for ending of our region what we will do suppose consider this one okay uh, sorry let me just run this particular part of the code so this is our starting region 130 59 88 so ending region should be up to 30 first one should be 1 to 30 then 30 to 59 59 to 88 this is our starting so ends i have taken how starts of two colon length of starts okay that is apart from the first element i am taking all those and the last element i am putting the value of column that is last it will take okay so if i just run this particular part c s t a r t a starts and ends okay see how I have divided my regions 1 to 31 region 30 to 59 one region 59 to 88 one region 88 to 117 one region like that locally I have divided okay then what I am doing see then I am plotting my regions whatever I have divided so I am so x and then hold on and then for i equal to 1 colon 10 I am plotting all those vertical lines. I am actually not dividing rows, only columns I am segregating. And you, if you know that when you are using plot command, then we should give the y coordinate first and then x, right? Because whenever we are uh, considering image coordinate, whatever value we got, if we want to use plot, we need to reverse x and y, right? This concept I have already discussed because initially when you are traversing, first of all we traverse row wise and in our image our row is basically y direction okay so whatever first value we are getting those are basically y value and generally using plot the y value should be second right so like that x and y always should be swapped okay so here if i just run this particular part of the code you can see we have basically our segre segregated our image into these regions now in each of these small small regions i will be applying global thresholding okay so what I am doing for i equal to 1 colon 10, 
10 equal to x of colon that is all rows and columns I am taking from start to end of that particular index i. Okay. And then I am applying im to bw in that region only using gray threshold. Okay. That is nothing but using Otoo's uh, method. Okay. And then giving end. Okay. And finally showing the output. Now let us run the whole code and check whether we are getting the better result or not. Okay. So this is our histogram. Let me just mini close this for the time being and let us check the results one by one. Okay. This is our original image. This is the image what, where we have just classified different regions and this is output of variable thresholding because in each region we are applying different threshold value based on the global threshold of that locally classified region. Okay. So this heading I have given output of variable thresholding and what is our global thresholding output? Let me just give here one figure so that we can see the output also. Yes. Minimize the histogram. See what is the difference level? This is our original image and this is when we are applying global thresholding, highly distorted. But when you are segregating our original image into small, small parts and then applying global thresholding in each region and uh, Again, at the end, we are accumulating all the small region result and making one complete image. See, perfectly we are getting this one. Okay. This is also called variable thresholding or also termed as local thresholding. Okay. Local thresholding means we are basically uh, whole image we are dividing into small part and applying global thresholding in that local region. So it is also termed as local thresholding. There is one more concept that is called adaptive thresholding. Okay. That concept I will be discussing in my next video where if in your original image this kind of sets of uh, shade is present of gray color then the global thresholding will fail because you can see that histogram is not bimodal shape. In that case it is better to use local thresholding or the adaptive thresholding. Okay. This is all for my this video. Same code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can check there. Very important method. Take some images from internet, play with it and have fun with image processing. Thank you for watching.